Hello and welcome back everyone to this overview training on SAP Datasphere with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In our last episode of this Datasphere overview training, we talked about the uses of location dimension in SAP Analytics Cloud, which was created as part of Datasphere. In our today's session, you will learn about how do you do a connection between SAP BW, S4 HANA, ECC system with SAP Datasphere. So there are two important ingredients to do this connectivity. One is called DP agent and the second is called SAP Cloud Connector. In our detailed training, we will learn about how do you do this connectivity with the help of the DP agent and Cloud Connector. But once these two things are set up, we will now talk about adding our system to SAP Datasphere. You will see this system we will be utilizing to import the metadata information as well as replicating the tables, replicating data flows and replication flows to Datasphere system. Before we start today's class, smash the like button. Kindly share and subscribe the channel so that you will get notified with more free content once it is uploaded on our channel. So let's get started and learn how to add a ABAP system connection to your data sphere. So now first let's connect to our current server which we configured with Cloud Connector. You see Cloud Connector is connected and Cloud Connector also have connectivity to your on-premise system. So now I'll go to data sphere and I will do the connectivity in data sphere with our BW or S4 HANA system. It's a S4 HANA, BW will be same. So let me go back. Eventually they are all ABAP based systems my friends. They're all ABAP based systems. So you are actually connecting to all the ABAP based systems. Yeah? ABAP based systems. So now let's start and learn how can we do connectivity from SAP Datasphere to our BW system, S4 HANA system, BW for HANA system, BPC system, all of them. So you always begin with the Datasphere connection option. In this connection option, you will be able to view, edit or create new connections. So we click on create to create a new connection. And you see there are different varieties of connections to choose from. Each type of connections allows you to select the capabilities it offers. You can choose between SAP and non-SAP connections, on-premise or cloud-based systems as well as the third party partner systems. Most of us will use our internal SAP systems of our company. It is important that you have already configured a DP agent and also a cloud connector. Now we start with ABAP system connectivity. This is a common connectivity option you choose for all ABAP based systems like BW, PPC, BW for HANA, S for HANA or ECC. You can click the I button to see what are the features which are supported with this type of connection. So almost all the important features like data flow, remote table and replication flow is supported. So I choose this above base connectivity. And now you can choose whether you want WebSocket connectivity or you want RFC based connectivity. So I will want RFC based. I will provide my application server address. So here you will provide your application server address, system number, client and system ID. All this information you can get it from your SAP logon. So you go to your SAP logon, right click and say properties. And you can copy this here. System number, client, my current system, my current BW system client is 800. System ID. This is a three digit system ID. You can see it is here in my SID. I put that and I put the language also for connection. Now, would you like to use cloud connector? Of course, yes, we need a cloud connector and we can choose here the cloud connector location by entering the virtual host and port number. So this is the virtual host which we created for cloud connector by doing the cloud connector configuration. Yes. Let me put that and this is the port number and now we need user ID and password of our ABAP system. So let me enter my ABAP system user ID 
and password yes now the moment you do this you also have to choose dp agent remember the dp agent concept which i covered in our training so already there is a pre-configured dp agent in the in the guided experience account which we will select the moment you do you see remote table option is also become enabled so it is important to have remote table replication possible with a dp agent yes we also say streaming is on if you want to stream the data you can put that else we can switch off so what are the capabilities this connection will offer you it offers you to do remote table connection data flow connection and replication flow connection all three it will offer which means all the capabilities which i want to demonstrate you with a with a connection with bw system are possible are possible in the coming episodes i will also show you how to connect to bw4 hana system the process remains same the process remains same the process remains same now we click on next button and now we can choose connection pool size timeout limit all these basic settings for connectivity we can choose we can choose these options then we click on next button what is the business name of this system so i can say my company s4 hana come bw system and i can just give a technical name so i can say anubhav underscore s4 yes anubhav underscore s4 that i want to give the name so this will be the name which will be visible to you in your data sphere space for this connectivity i click on create connection it is trying to connect now and congratulations the connection have been successfully done all right so thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of sap data sphere as usual please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on sap data sphere sap analytics cloud sap btp ui5 fury or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud so do not forget to visit www.anubavtrainings.com also shoot us an email on contact at anubavtrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of sap with that anubav signing out once again thank you so much and i will see you in my next episode